Check the royal wedding. Yes, <laughs> we got to cover it. Prince Harry will marry American actress Meghan Markle tomorrow. And Prince Charles will walk the bride-to-be down the aisle. That was the news of the morning. Joining us now from Windsor, UK, Steve Hilton, host of The Next Revolution on the Fox News Channel. Steve, obvious question, have the Brits accepted Meghan as one of their own? Well, they have, Stuart. Um, and before we get into that, I just want to say, where, where are the Brits? Where are you and Ashley? You know, there's still time for you to get here. We can do Brits on tour. Enjoy the festivities I'll tomorrow. See you there. <laughs> get that flight later on. Um, they, it's really interesting, actually, how, how much they've not just accepted her, but really, I think it's provided a boost to the monarchy, mm. much in the same way that Diana did all those years ago in really changing people's perceptions of what the monarchy is, how people can relate to it. There's huge groups of people here in Britain, I've noticed just talking to people, that, that have started to relate to the monarchy in a new way precisely because of Meghan. I think this is going to be a huge boost for the institution. Well, it, we're coming to the end of the modern Elizabethan era, and it seems to me that the princes, Harry and William, they're the monarchy of the future. They will be the monarchs. They'll be the royals in the next decade. Mm. And so, I mean, it's a good thing to have interest concentrated on them because they are so new for this new century. I mean, they fit the bill perfectly, don't they? Yes. That's exactly right. And I was just thinking about it, um, if it's not impertinent to make the comparison, um, almost as a commercial, in a commercial way, because there's been some discussion here about the fact that in previously, in the last um, few months or so, Harry has talked about his desire for, for more privacy and, and the media to leave him and Meghan alone and so on. And so there's been some comment to say, well, in that case, why are you having this huge wedding if you want to be left alone? Why don't you have a very quiet wedding away from prying eyes and so on? And it seems to me that actually the monarchy as an institution led by the Queen and others really know how good this is for the brand that they're running. And that's really what this is. It's a global brand. And this uh, event tomorrow is going to give it a huge boost. Um, you're out of costume, uh, <laughs> by the way, Steve. Um, we're, we're used <laughs> no. to. Yes, you are. You are. You are. We're used to you in a black T-shirt, usually, <laughs> usually black. And now I see a jacket. What? Have the Brits got to you yes. all of a sudden? I'm not well a little bit you know there's a little bit of respect being yeah, shown here uh, tomorrow uh, on the on the big day there's even going to be a suit but i'm not going to it's not going to raise to the level of me actually wearing a tie you'll be <laughs> pleased to hear that's that's off limits are you going to be in uh, st george's chapel tomorrow i will not i'm not, I'm not <laughs> invited i'll be i'll be part of the coverage and then i'll be um doing my show, The Next Revolution, from here this weekend. But it's, it's great, great atmosphere here, and it's, it's wonderful to be part of it. I understand that right after the wedding, there will be 600 people sit down to lunch, hosted by the Queen, and then 200 of them will go to someplace else, uh, where would that be? That's Frogmore House, for a big party. Is right. that what's happening? You won't be at either, I take it. <laughs> They are. De I'm definitely persona non grata of anything <laughs> royal. Um, they don't. They don't want the likes of me hanging around. But uh, but it's 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 nice to see everyone um, in really getting into it. It's actually very um, intoxicating just sort of being here and absorbing the atmosphere. Okay, Steve, we'll let you go and uh, enjoy yourself, lad. Bend the arm with a couple of pipes. Uh, there. They oh, they're giving me a nice send off. I don't know if you can hear the choir <laughs> yes. practicing. Yes, just for us. Actually, just, we, for us. Just, just for you, Steve Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. And by the way, next time you're on the show Good in here you. in America, a blazer is required. <laughs> okay, son. <laughs> Steve You'll Hilton, everybody. Lucky.